Hello everyone, my name is Antasprite and today I want to clarify a topic which was requested in a lot in the comment section of the planet I uploaded which is resizing it with Space Engineers Toolbox. As you may know now the way how the game handles the mods has changed on the day of release from storing mods in the personal app data library from storing it in the Steam library's workshop folder. Because of that, Space Engineers Toolbox can't handle mods, especially planets, very well. Uh, so that's what we are going to bypass today. So, uh, right now, uh, the way how we can do it is, uh, first of all, uh, subscribe to the planet we want to modify. In our case is obviously Carrick. By the way, thank you very much for the subscription. It's just, I, I, I never thought it's going to be that popular. So as you can see now, I'm already subscribed because if you upload uh, a, a mod or anything to the workshop, it automatically subscribes you. So that's why I can't show you anymore the uh, loading notification in the bottom. But if you subscribe to something on the workshop, you can see a downloading a notification on the bottom of Steam and after that you subscribed go to library back again uh, press right click on Space Engineers properties local files browse local files go back uh, in the address bar back to Steam apps click on that and as you can see there's a workshop folder this is where Steam stores all the workshop content. Click on content. This is the app ID of Space Engineers. Click double click on that. And we're gonna look for the planet uh, ID, which is up here in the disk in the in this folder, which is 173 and ends with 66, which is this one. Right click copy and then uh, go to computer and uh, where your system is uh, open the hard drive of that go to your personal folder don't, don't get confused this is users in Hungarian so <laughs> it's a weird language I know so press slash and app data. Press enter and now you in app data which is like a hidden folder in your personal folder. Open roaming and go down until you see space engineers. Double click on that and as you can see there's a mod folder. And as you can see I already pasted this thing in here. But I'm gonna paste it here again and rewrite it so, so I can show you how it works and now we have that weird looking folder in our personal mod library so after that go to Steam and press play press new game custom game empty world I usually switch off auto save because I hate it. Uh, mods, and as you can see, it it pops up in your available mods list. Double click on that. This folder means this is a local mod, so you can't use it online. That's why we use offline mode automatically. And then press start. Now you can see the the world has loaded. Press Shift F10 to open up the spawn menu. Press on planets, resize it to 120. Actually, it's not that important. I just do it for for the fun. Press Karak. Uh, double click also works, but you can also click on spawn. And as you can see now appears and you can place it wherever you want left click on that and as you can see it spawned in now press ask exit the main menu and yes save it now 
we're going to alt tab and go to space engineers toolbox open it up if you haven't downloaded it there's a link in the description of it this file open and uh, there's our new world we just created and open it up and as you can see there's only two objects here one of them is my character and the other one is the planet press on regenerate and resize it to the recommended 250 it says it's not recommended but that's what I recommend press ok and wait a little bit don't click on anything else because it might crash as well during the reset. And as you can see, it successfully rescaled the planet. The unsaved icon just have a popped up in the corner. As you can see, the uh, radius, the planet radius, which is half of the uh, diameter, has changed to 125. And now you can just press save and go back to the game load the game and uh, what we're going to do is switch back to the online mode so press settings mods delete this mod type in Karak Oppa. Karak yes and press ok and yeah there we go and you can just set it to private or whatever you want and now you open it and as you can see the planet is here all of its glory in one no actually 250 size so there you have it, that's how you mod modify a planet radius with Space Engineers Toolbox currently. Hopefully the tool will be get fixed pretty soon because, uh, well of course it's, it's a, it's a little, bit, little bit uncomfortable uh, for some of the players who may want to resize their planets. but right now this is the only way I know how to uh, resize the planet currently in the game so thanks for watching I hope you learned something <laughs> and uh, see you in the next video